Alright guys, massive news today for Wuthering Waves with some brand new leaks and updates that just dropped. And we now know the banner characters for the 1.4 version update and it's looking insane guys. And we can also discuss the future banners as this makes huge changes in the roadmap. And if you guys want to keep being updated on everything Wuthering Waves, like, subscribe, put those notifications on. Also, we are about to hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel. And once we do, I'm going to be doing a free Battle Pass giveaway soon after for you guys. But okay, let's not waste any time. We have quite the exciting news. Starting off with the first leak here. It says the 1.4 version is the last update before 2.0, which some of us knew for a while now. That was a that got leaked a while ago. But there was still the possibility of us getting a 1.5 patch, but now it seems a bit more confirmed that we're going straight to 2.0 after 1.4. And now we finally have the details for the 1.4 characters. It's finally time. Camellia is finally coming to the game in 1.4 as a Havoc Sword user. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, this is very, very hype. I've been looking forward to this character since the start of the game and she was expected to be available around the 2.0 patch and now we are getting her a bit earlier than expected which I'm quite excited for and we still have another character here which I believe we've never seen this one before His, and he has a weird name it's called Dang Dang I, I find it really funny and he's using a broad blade weapon another broad blade we do not know his element yet, but I'm sure that will be revealed soon. And it says here, Dang Dang looks similar to Encore and Yao Yao from Genshin. So with this description, it made it look like this character is going to be a new child character. But a few hours later, we got this new leak here about Dang Dang's appearance. And by the way, is it me or is this such a weird name? Like, who came up with this? But anyways, the new leaks are saying that Dang Dang is not a child model anymore. She is slightly shorter than Shorekeeper, and she also has a pet companion like Yao Yao from Genshin Impact. So okay, that was the reference for the Genshin Impact character. We don't know what the pet companion is, but I'm assuming she will be able to use it in battle, which would be really cool. I'm a big fan of those type of characters. And also, turns out it's another girl character, they confirmed it right here. A sad day for the people hoping for a new limited 5 star male character. I saw in the comments for that post, I did see some people really bummed out about that, telling that they're gonna quit the game because there are not enough male characters. Let me know what you guys think of the comments, but for me personally, I'm very hyped for Camellia. For the 1.4 patch, she is already enough for me. I would like to get her and her weapon, but it's easy to say now we haven't seen what Dang Dang design and what she does yet. Who knows, maybe she's gonna be a banger character. Um, another Broadblade is kind of crazy though, I was hoping they would finally add like a new, um, a new 5 star gun user in this patch. Maybe in 2.0 we will see. But yeah, these are the 1.4 banners, this is what it's looking like so far. And this does seem like a reliable leak. I think these are really going to be the 1.4 banners this time. I know the leakers have been having Camellia all over the place. But finally, she's going to be coming home in 1.4. And okay, we can also take a look at the other banners. Because this changes a lot of things. Um, we can discuss the roadmap real quick. A lot of things got switched up. So we obviously know the 1.3 banners. Well, only... Um, Shorekeeper and Yuhu was officially revealed by Wuthering Waves, but a Gion rerun got leaked for 1.3, so that is what 1.3 is looking like. And now, going over to 1.4, you guys remember the old leak that said Camellia's old model would be used in this patch as a 5-star gun user. Now, with the new leaks, that is no longer the case. Turns out they decided to scrap that model the some 1.3 leaks that we got recently suggested that they took it out of the game so we should not be expecting Camellia's old model to be in use in any future update unfortunately so for the people that really liked her design um, unfortunately that won't be in the game anymore so instead for 1.4 we are getting 
the current Camellio that is in the game and Dang Dang, which will be appearing for the 1.4 update. And one thing that is not confirmed is if Dang Dang is a five star or not. He could be a four star, we don't know yet. I would assume that she is a five star, but we can't rule out that possibility yet of her being a four star character. And instead, the other five star character could be Yinlin's rerun in 1.4. Since you know they are bringing back Jian rerun in the 1.3 update, it would make sense that they would want to keep doing reruns starting from now, unless they want to do a double new 5 star banner patch. Um, but yeah, this is what makes sense right now. I am just speculating here, but so far, that is what the 1.4 banners are looking like. And now 2.0, it's very unclear now. Previously, Camellia was in that spot but now um, she got moved back to 1.4 so we really have no idea who could be the big main character for 2.0 because 2.0 seems like a really big deal a whole new version update they would want to do that their biggest update yet i would imagine they would want it to make as hype as possible giving us a new area maybe even a new map which would be really hype and your rewards are always going to be good you know how Kuro are good with the rewards but now who is the big character for 2.0 we have a few options just maybe we can finally have Scar or Geshulin in 2.0 which I would be really hype about and maybe we get both who knows um, me personally I've been waiting for Geshulin since the start of the game so finally having him um, in the game would be really really hype for me but even Scar you know he's quite a hype character and honestly, I'd be content with any of these two. I think it's about time that we finally get a new male character that looks really cool with cool gameplay. And yeah, guys, so maybe we get both. Who knows? I would go broke if that's the case. If they do get Shillin and Scar back to back, that would be insane. But yeah, Guadarine Waves can definitely really step it up and go crazy. And if you didn't see the revenue, they didn't do that crazy and the last the latest months and now Zing Liao is going to be free they're going to be losing a lot more but I'm sure Shorekeeper is going to up that and Camellia I say Camellia is going to do the highest performing uh, patch so far in terms of hype and depending on how hype the other character is but yeah let me know if you're hyped for this character or not that is all for the video thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed feel free to like and subscribe Put the notifications on we're almost at 10k subs really appreciate you guys a lot of support on your channel lately and a lot of viewers are coming back to my channel really appreciate it and i'll for sure keep you guys updated see you all in the next one